Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Maria Shaju and today I am painting this casual off-duty Sailor Jupiter. If you've been following me on Instagram and you saw the original incline art that I did of this, you'll know that I didn't actually set out to draw Sailor Jupiter. I set out to draw hair. The reason I set out to draw hair is because I've been inspired by two artists lately. One is Danica Sills, who is on YouTube, and she does these beautiful ladies who have hair that flows and overlaps and um, just intermingles in these really interesting ways and it just it looks gorgeous and I wanted to try it. And the other one is an Instagrammer whose username is Dark Avi and then the name is Dark Harvey. So maybe it's pronounced Doc Avi. And this person does hair that uh, is really voluminous and is colored in this very interesting way that gives it even more volume than the, the line art does. And there is this cool effect where the hair that's further from the viewer is much darker than the hair that's closer. And I wanted to try that too. And by the time I finished drawing this girl and started giving her little details, such as her necklace, I realized that I had everything going to make this Sailor Jupiter, even subconsciously trying to give her a moon necklace with the Sailor Jupiter uh, symbol with it. So I said, hey, if my mind wants to draw me Sailor Jupiter, I will draw Sailor Jupiter. And that really helped me out because I have gotten two new colors uh, for my watercolor palette lately. They are Opera Rose, which is this really, really pretty pink that you see here. And I can't pronounce it because I'm terrible at French, but I think it's Jeanne Brilliant Number no. 2, which is the skin tone that you see. And this is a color that I have been lusting over for a couple of months now because there is an Instagrammer slash YouTuber named Asha Please who does these really, really beautiful watercolors and she uses that as her, as her skin tone. And it just, it comes out perfect. And I always have trouble mixing a skin tone. So I thought I'd try this. And when I got the color in the mail, I just, I fell in love with it. I'm sure you've seen me already use it in a couple of my videos. So my mind wanted to draw Sailor Jupiter. My palette was ready to draw Sailor Jupiter. I painted Sailor Jupiter. And I had lots of fun with this girl playing with these new colors and trying to find good ways that I could shade these colors because both the uh, both the pink and the and the, and the Jean Brilliant they're, they're new to me and so I don't really know what kind of colors to mix them with in order to get good convincing shadows. So I've tried a couple of things here on the orange side on the red side. I think that getting a little a little red on the shoulders is very cute but also tried some of the cooler shadows so that you know her neck could recede and uh, the corners of her face so it would match the rest of the painting a little bit better. Besides that this was a really fun quick sketch in my moleskin sketchbook and I actually I looked it up and it turns out that there is no official pronunciation for the word moleskin except in Italian because moleskine is an Italian company but for everywhere else in the world they want people to make up however people want to pronounce it and I want to pronounce it moleskin. So I have only a couple of pages left in my moleskin sketchbook, so I'll do a tour of that later. Thanks for watching. Bye.